to some niggas that's greater than you. Foo. Foo. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Welcome aboard. We're back live again. This is going to be a total shit show. This is going to be a total Tyrone domination, ladies and gentlemen, because holy f I saw one person saying this drama is a sleeper trauma. You could not be further from the fucking truth. This is the second best drama of the f***ing year. And if you're enjoying the tipster stuff, well, this is the inevitable future of tipster. All right, because ladies and gentlemen, what we've got right here is a story like no other. I mean, this really has to take the cake. You guys like politics? You guys like political drama? Do you guys like discussing foreign policy? I don't. So that's why we're going to talk about Tyrone instead. Because holy fuck. Dude, this guy. <laughs> bro. <laughs> this guy just completely for no fucking reason whatsoever just decided to wake up and not just choose violence, but choose domination. I mean, this is the most devastating exposed video I've ever fucking seen in my life. I mean, this guy, dude, there's so many jokes I want to make. <laughs> and, you know, I'm going to laugh because this drama is objectively fucking hilarious and stuff like this, right? But make no mistake, okay? <laughs> We're Team Hunter on this. <laughs> We're Team Hunter on this one, all right? No man deserves what this guy, this poor, innocent soul has been through. No man deserves this whatsoever. Okay, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. If you guys think what happened to Hunter is cool, you're mean. Because it's not cool, okay? It's not cool whatsoever. This is going to be a fucking interesting ass situation to get into. Now, me and Hunter, we're actually friends. We go way back. So if he wants to call in, he's more than welcome to. Uh, because a lot of people, I mean, he's he's come out with the truth or whatever. And he's saying that he's getting framed this never happened. And, you know, I'm open to hearing all sides of the story. So we'll we'll hear it from Hunter himself if he wants to call in. Um, however, how could I not discuss this? Because holy shit, this is like the worst. Okay, so you guys know the fucking, you know, the memes or whatever, right? Hunter gets divorced. Everyone makes the joke. Oh, what is she? I'll bet she's sucking black people off. I'll bet she's getting BBC'd right up the fucking asshole, the pussy hole, the nose hole, the ear hole. I'll bet every fucking hole is getting filled with everyone. Tyrone, Jamal, Jaquivas, all, all of them, all at once. They're just filling her up. You know, everyone obviously makes those jokes, right? But those are obviously hyperbolic jokes, right? They're not real. You know, it's like a meme. It's like, oh, your wife left you. She must be fucking, she must be fucking black dudes, right? Everyone always makes these jokes. Well, apparently that's actually <laughs> what happened here. And it's not a joke at all. Although Hunter has a contention, okay? So we're going to do a deep dive tonight. We're going to do a deep investigation. We're going to do some live investigative research on this one. Because, again, like I said, I'm on Hunter Avalon's side on this one. And really, here's the thing, right? In this story, Tyrone is probably evil. Carissa is definitely fucking evil. Hunter Avalon is the victim here, all right? And I don't even think he realizes it yet. He's still defending her, which is fucking sick. You know what I mean? But from his perspective, I can understand why he would want to deny all of this. I mean, if I was Hunter, I would be denying, I'd be lying, I'd be doing anything I could. Hunter Avalon, unfortunately, about a couple weeks ago, announced that he is divorcing his wife, Carissa. As you guys know, Hunter Avalon, he was a right-wing uh, conservative YouTuber turned left-wing debate bro. And he's had a long, even when he was right-wing, when he was left-wing, he's had a very long public marriage with his wife, Carissa Avalon. She's even moderated some of the debates that he's participated in, right? Well, Hunter Avalon, a couple weeks ago, announced to the public, to the world, that him and Carissa, he said, Carissa and I both decided to amicably end our marriage. We are still close friends with no hate in our hearts towards each other. And we share a vested interest in raising our children together in a safe environment. Thank you for respecting our privacy. 
No, on its own, right? This is hilarious to everybody that hates Hunter Avalon. Haha, <laughs> you got divorced. That's pretty funny, right? But it's not really that interesting. It's like, okay, went through a divorce, well, whatever. I don't think you realize how interesting it actually is. Do you understand the severity of what you just read? Well, let's break it down a little bit then. This is pro Jared, but real. Right. What we'll learn later on is that they actually weren't announcing their divorce on this day. He just jumped the gun and announced his divorce with his wife on Twitter. This is the real pro Jared. Only it goes a little different in terms of nudes getting leaked, in my opinion. But other yeah. than that, this is the real pro Jared. This actually is the real pro Jared, and it gets even worse than you could possibly imagine. Yeah, again, some people in the chat are like, "What's the big?" deal? No, no, no. Stick around. You'll see what the big deal is. The very big deal. The twenty big deals. You'll see what those are in just a second, ladies and gentlemen. Um, but you know, he announced his divorce. Whatever, right? So he's tweeting about this on Twitter and everything, right? And obviously, people that don't like Hunter Avalon, which is a lot of people, were clowning on him, and it resulted in him owning the haters. This is one of my favorite tweets right here. My haters claim that I'm gay. I know they just wish that I was. Tweeting this uh, picture of him where he looks so fucking cool and epic, right? Then he starts memeing his divorce. This is exactly what happened. Am I emotional enough for you now? Crying Biden, soy supporter. And then she's like, oh my gosh, you're such a pussy. I want a divorce. Mocking this imaginary scenario that supposedly never happened, right? And the reason why this is funny is because Hunter Avalon is a blue-pilled soy cuck debater. And one of his most recent debates was where he challenged the red pill assertion that being more emotional around your wife doesn't actually cause her to hate you. You know, a lot of red pill people say, if you cry, if you're emotional around your wife, then she will gradually grow to fucking despise you, no matter what. It's just in female nature. And so Hunter responds to that by saying, no, actually, on the contrary, if you're more emotional around your wife, she will respect you more for being comfortable about your emotions and who you are, because who gives a f I can cry in front of my wife and win. It doesn't matter. She'll appreciate that. Women are more emotional, therefore they will like it when I am more emotional, right, guys? Right? And so he's had many debates over this topic. So obviously when he got divorced, he was like, ha, isn't this what happened, guys? Right? You know? And then he made even more memes because people were making fun of, you know, the stereotypical joke. Oh, but she's getting black dick. Oh, but she's getting BBC in her fucking asshole. <laughs> and so he's memeing this shit like, which hater art is better? Trying to own the fucking haters, right? When hot takes turn to hot cakes, soy hunter upload and Carissa soon to be killed by woman cop, BLM supporter or whatever. And then of course the meme that we saw before, everything is going all smooth and everything, right? Well, that is until this morning when Kingston Hawk, a person that debated Hunter Avalon on trans issues, decided to come out and spill the beans and tell the truth about everything after well, he, he felt got pressure dog you have to understand everything you're about to see self-defense right. right that's the claim totally yeah. of course self-defense yeah definitely so this is going to be the most psychotic video you guys have ever seen ever Nick, you're in the screen share are you ready to go i'm this... fucking ready i my body is ready this is about to be some of the worst shit you've ever heard Take a listen, chat, and we will be reading super chats and stuff uh, to hear you guys' input, including this one. Red Hood through two says, Zyli is good enough to be Tonka. What do you mean, Augie? <laughs> Dude, Keffles was live earlier today, and I got all of my chats banned. Z people started lying that Zyli was one of my alts just to get her banned from the chat because none of my <laughs> audience like, like Zyli. <laughs> oh, it was so fucking funny. And Extreme Dad through two says, did Tipster and Keffel smash yes or yes? Um, I'm gonna say yeah. Hey y'all, this is Kingston Hawk. Just wanna go on a quick rant. Real, real quick backstory. You know, I did a debate with Hunter Avalon like a year ago, and I guess I'd been following this chick because of that. Uh, she was like saying her own shit about the same topic, and I seen it, and so I just commented, and I can't remember what I commented, but just something to the extent of like, I don't think she, you know, she knew what she was talking about. Well, she was real polite about it. She was like, if you don't think I know what I'm talking about, why don't we debate? And I'm like, cool. So we jumped in the DMs and we're debating a topic. 
and she actually seems a lot more reasonable than oh, her. Really? Shape. You know, she's got a lot more reasonable positions. So me and her, we get a lot reasonable positions. Positions being the key word there. Let's let's continue. Oh, no. And you know, she's like, well, shit. We can continue to debate, but why don't you just call me? Like, let's just use Discord and let's just you know voice call. Yeah, just for an innocent little call about the uh, marketplace of ideas, right? I'm like, all right, fuck it. You know, so we talk later that night. We spend a little while talking about the debate, but we kind of agree on most things. So we spend hours just talking about her life and my life. Oh, okay. And it's funny because when we started getting into my life, that's when, you know, things changed and got sexual. <laughs> Now, I watched this video earlier today, right? And this, you can see the picture is very, very censored. But it wasn't censored a few hours ago, and I was immediately just presented with ass. Just ass on the screen. Now, it was you somewhat censored. You could see her fucking censored. asshole. You could see her asshole, and I was seeing it on Twitter. I was seeing it everywhere. I was just immediately, you know, things got sexual, and boy, did they get sexual quickly for the entire fucking world to see. Not just fucking Kingston over here, all right? Now, he very quickly skims over the DMs, but we're going to read the DMs because it's important to the story. This is some interesting... Now, again, the debates, you know, their conversation started innocently. Oh, they're talking about the issues, right? The transgender issues. No, 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 no. Fuck way, that if you shit. think this is the punchline, you guys are in for a rude awakening. I see oh. people in chat being like, this is it. It's not. Nope. Let's let's start here. So, Kingston's... <laughs> I love that his name is Kingston. Dude, Kingston Cox. Okay, bro. Kingston Cox, you know, starts off by saying, you crop your face too much. That's your hottest part. Better. And now, this is a picture of her face and her tits out. He says, much better. You're much more sexy when I'm getting confident vibes off you. Carissa says, thank you. I like how forward you are with me. He says, I appreciate that. New topic. Thank you. I love how forward you are with me. It's sexy. Yes, sir. Kingston says, tell me what sex, what, what your sex life would look like if you had complete freedom to do and try whatever you want to. No pandering. Give me your most honest answer. So Carissa says, I think I would start with fucking you. I know you would be kind, but also give constructive criticism. Then I would want to fuck the Australian guy because he's fat and funny. Now, understand, Hunter's going to sit here and say that they had already divorced when these conversations started, but that's not true. Hunter, they had divorced on June the 7th. These conversations are on May the 24th. So they're still, they're still married. And even in the text messages he'll show later, she references the fact that they haven't gotten divorced yet. So she's cheating on him. So Kingston says, you want to learn to be better sexually? And she says, yeah, I tried to ride a dildo on the chair. My quads were burning after like three minutes. He says, lol. And these are the conversations Tipster would salivate for, right? This is Tipster's average GMs with his eagles. <laughs> right. So Carissa says, I still feel them. Kingston says, you're more interested in fucking particular people than doing particular things. She says, yes, at first, I think, I've only fucked one very small category of people. Guys who have grown up incredibly cool. conservative and Christian. So she's a demon, guys. This is fucking demonic right here, and it's going to get worse. She says, and a girl with the same background. I want some atheist dick. Atheist dick. Now, Hunter, by the way, is an atheist. Hunter is the type of guy that grew up conservative Christian, but has been making anti-Christian content for years now. So he's already an atheist, but that's not good enough for her. She wants something a little bit bigger. Someone in deeper. chat just said it. This is Destiny's future. Yeah, this is probably Destiny's future. If she Des didn't hate him. I mean, actually, that's not even a barrier of entry. To be honest, Destiny's probably already had sex with this woman. Well, Destiny actually gets dropped a little bit later on in this video. We're going to learn some things about Destiny that... To be honest, most of the chat probably knows, but yeah, it gets even worse. So, Kingston says, lol. She says, I also want to do a cream pie gangbang. That's insanely hot to me. So, she's looking for anything that's not Hunter's tiny little soy boy penis. 
She's looking for literally anything oh, else. No. So, Ty, I mean, it's <laughs> not Ty Kingston. <laughs> I need to stop. <laughs> I'm gonna get fucked for this stream. Anyway, so Kingston gives a heart. It's like that'd be a very fun time. Carissa says, I'd also I'd also fuck my ex to see if he's as good as I remember. Lol, he's probably not. So that would be fun. He might be able to last a little longer. Kingston says, I love your deviant side. Chris Avalon says, because back then he lasted two pumps, which I took as a compliment. Kingston says, greatest compliment I could give you, busting early. Carissa says, ha huh? I popped his cherry, so he didn't have much options, I guess. How long do you think you'd last? Kingston, the king, says it's completely situational. But if I'm trying to impress, I won't let it happen for at least a while. So this man is just fucking going to town, dude. He's having the time of his life. And so is Carissa here. A much more enjoyable time than perhaps she's had in a while now. Especially with Hunter, which is just... I mean, again, look, I'm making jokes here, but we're we're on Hunter's side. I mean, this is evil shit that both of them are doing to this man, right? No man in the world, and I don't care who you are, I don't care if Hunter has cringe political takes, no man deserves this type of fate, especially for this to be broadcasted publicly to his audience, right? Like, what the fuck is going on here? And I know if Hunter's watching this, he's not going to care that I'm saying this, right? Because he's going to watch this and be like, fuck you. And I don't blame him, right? If I was Hunter, I'd be mad at the fucking world. I don't, I don't even know what I would do if I was Hunter, right? But this shit right here is demonically evil. It is fucking insane. Like, seriously? Right? And they divorce now. But again, I have to stress this. They weren't divorced at this point. Okay. They weren't now, divorced. Charitably, they might have been separated prior to announcement. She's I cheating. She's a cheating whore. <laughs> She's a cheating whore. And I'm not going to. I don't care what Hunter says. I'm not going to fucking defend her like even Hunter is right now. No. She belongs to the streets of Detroit. Anyway, I, I don't think you mentioned this. They have a kid together. Hmm. This is fucking evil, man. They do have a kid together. Like, and Carissa would have had to, like, leave. I, I, I will get there. We'll get there. It's in the video. I'm not going to spoil that. Yeah. This is just fucking bad, man. It's just actually fucking evil. Like, I, I can't stress this enough. This is evil. No man deserves this. Not even a hunter. You might sit there. I mean, obviously, it's funny. Blah, blah, blah. You know, there's humor. There is objective humor to extract from this, right? But... He doesn't deserve this, dude. Come on, man. Especially the f given the fact that they have kids. Like, the kids are going to grow up wondering, like, why did mommy and daddy divorce? And this video will always fucking exist. Dude, That's imagine, evil. Dude, imagine you had to go to school and they're like, I know why your parents got divorced. And you're like, oh. what? And they show them Kingston Cox talk about how your mom wanted to get a cream pie so she divorced your dad. What the oh, fuck, no. man? What the oh, no. fuck is this, dude? Stop. <laughs> so they continue, right? So she asked Kingston, how long do you think you'd last? And Kingston's like, she it's completely situational. But if I'm trying to impress, I won't, I won't let it happen for a while. Carissa says, just keep thinking about grandma. <laughs> Horrible. Excuse me. Kingston says, girls respect you better when you can please them better than the other guys they've been fucking. She's like, really? Kingston's like, you respect me even more than you do already when I make you come. To know that I have that much power over your body that I can get you to a place you've barely ever been. Carissa says that would be difficult too. Kingston says that's exactly why it will register as so significant when it happens. I mean, it just gets worse. Keep in mind, this worse. is all being released in self defense, okay? Yeah, totally. Before we start judging this guy, he's yeah. going to explain thoroughly why he had to produce this fucking conversation. So Kingston, or sorry, uh, Carissa continues and says, I've only uh, fucked early 20-year-olds, so I think you might have some tricks up your sleeve. He says, exactly. She says, we're actually late teens. What would you do to me? 
Kingston says, sexy as you are, it'd be hard not to pull you close and start kissing you passionately. And then move my kisses and my hands all over your body, really warming you up and building up the anticipation. I'd kiss your inner thighs and find your clip with my tongue. She says, fuck! Kingston says, slowly work you up until you're dripping wet for me. We're gonna need that when I slide this big black dick deep inside of you. Keep in mind, this is the average tipster conversation with the girls. Yeah. <laughs> Carissa says, I love your dick. I want it in me so fucking badly. Kingston, Wait, did he leak any pictures of his own dick in here or just her nudes? Of course just not. Just her nudes. Nothing about him. <laughs> you never put any of that in there, just to be clear. <laughs> nope. So she says, I love your dick. Blah, blah, blah. I want it in me so badly. Kingston says, slow and deep strokes at first so you can really feel my size. While I kiss your mouth and grab handfuls of your ass. So she says, would you want me on top riding you? He says, not yet. That's where we can end. But I'm taking my time with you. I want to get lost inside you. So then she sends a picture of her ass that again, up until now, he, well, now he censored it. But before, it, I saw a crack. Crack. It was the, you saw like hole. the ring around the hole, bro. Yeah. Like it was... Give my ring a rub. That type of shit. Give his ring a rub, yeah. Yeah. So she sent a picture of her ass and said, I'd be so tight to try to fit inside. Then he said, then Kingston says, I'm going to lean back and kiss your legs and feet as I'm deep inside of you. Stealing some Alberto Riz there. So <laughs> we go on. Kingston says, or she says, fuck, I'm going to grind against your dick, trying to force you deeper into me. I want as much... I want as much as you in me as possible. I want to squeeze my pussy around you. I made the tightest pussy you've ever felt. I can't stress enough. This is self-defense before we get crazy here. Right. right. Before we lose it. He had to post this. Of course. He had to. So then Kingston likes that. And he says, and when you're close to coming, that's when I'll pull you on top of me and tell you to bounce that ass and grind your clit against me until we come at the same time. I'm going to come deep inside of you as you come. I want to feel that pussy clench around my dick and force my cum into you. She says, I want to squeeze every drop of your cum from your cock and continue riding it so my entire vagina is covered in you. Kingston says, you really are so fucking sexy to me. I love how little and tight your pussy looks. You By must... the way, if these two people fucked missionary the entire time, <laughs> nobody who talks like this actually does. No, this is they would be having sex in missionary position. 100%. Especially lo- given her history. Yeah. yeah. I love how little and tight your pussy looks. You must feel amazing to every cock you've, s- you've sat on. Carissa says, I do. I'm looking forward to it. And by the way, we're not at the worst yet, chat. We're not at the worst. This is like the opening teaser. So they continue, and Kingston references Hunter here. He says, that scene you tried with Hunter, we're going to do it for real, without the cameras. Dress you up like schoolgirl and fuck you like you misbehaved. what What does he mean by that scene you did with Hunter? Well, Hunter does a lot of skits in his videos sometimes. No, right? no, no. That's not what he's talking about. No? You don't you don't know? Do you have some do you have some intel on this? Hunter made porn with his wife. Oh, what? This the guy's fuck? talking about watching his Hunter's wife have sex with him for money oh, on OnlyFans. No, and he's critiquing Hunter's performance. And he, yeah, he's critiquing Hunter's performance in having sex with his and wife. rissing her up saying he'll do a much better job than her cuck soy boy so husband. Like, most guys who say stuff like that are just like they're talking out their ass. They're pretty confident. This guy literally could pull up fuck? like he could pull up like the John Madden fucking clipboard and start drawing on the screen where he was doing it wrong. Oh, man. This is not. Yeah. Someone in chat saying this ain't right. Yeah. You don't say. You don't fucking say, man. So he continues and he says, I'd let you pick from all my friends who you'd like to be shared with the most. When you behave, you are rewarded. She says, fuck, that's hot. I'd love that. Would you try to double penetrate? I'd make you say please first. I bled a little the last time. No worries, we take care of you. Lots of lube and a bit of patience getting it all the way in. Damn, I quoted you in stream. 
So then she sends pussy, and Kingston says, no worries, we take care of you. Lots of lube and a bit of patience getting it all the way in. He says, lol. She says, the little door comment to the big room. I'm pretty fucking tight. Both places, though. Again, barely censored up until now. And Kingston says, you are the perfect little pretty white girl. It makes absolute sense that so many guys want to wife you. I know how slutty you are, so I would let you go out and eat a lot of dick. But I'd always have you come back and tell me about it to get me worked up. So he tries a little bit of Destiny Riz here. This guy is pimping this girl out. Like, this is just yeah. full force. Yeah, exactly. And chat's saying, oh, you stop reading it. No, no, no. You have to hear it to know the extent of what's Dude, going on here. Who called this mid-drama? I'm just curious. Who was the one who said this is <laughs> mid-drama? We're not done yet. And <laughs> they're not even close. All right. We've still got the Hunter Avalon debate over this topic. You guys, oh, no. oh, you guys oh, no. don't even know. Okay. Hunter <laughs> debates a hater. That. Oh, God. Yep. So Carissa says, that's so fucking hot. Kingston says, I feel like if I keep you close to me and get you great at learning how to game men, your pussy could make both of us millionaires. And if you want to fly under the radar better, the way to do it is by also seeking, finding you a rotation of su sugar daddies to maintain. She says, really? That would be pretty incredible. He's literally pimping her. Like, this yep. is literally happening right now. He's pimping Hunter's wife. Exactly. So now we're going to listen to Kingston speak because he's got a lot to say. Changed and got sexual because, you know, I've been in the adult industry. Yeah, All Kingston is a porn star, by the way. Adult entertainment industry, let's be clear, <laughs> for like 15 years. So that's something that she was really interested in. You know, her ears perked up. It also led to us kind of, you know, talking sexual with each other. Like, you know, she was sending me nudes all the time. You know, how do you feel about this? Do I look good yeah, enough for my like? OnlyFans? That type of shit. I'm just kind of coaching her. And we talking all sexual and shit, you know. She bought tickets where she was supposed to fly out. Gracie VV through two says, women like Carissa belong in the streets. And all right, singing with the tier one. Yeah, no kidding. Actually, this week, you know, to Houston. You know, so we can make it physical. Houston, well, he's coming to Augie's what town. What the fuck, <laughs> dude? It's about. I got to go a message. Down. Somebody I ain't never seen before. Somebody just messaged me and told me, "Hey, you know, hey. somebody from that side said some things, and just letting you know, this is what's being said about you." Ah. And at first, I'm thinking, man, it sounds like some bullshit. I know Bang. Hunter got a bunch of like haters and shit, but even I'm like, damn, like, how would anybody know that me and girl talking? It's supposed to be real discreet because she got her marriage going on. Okay, she got her marriage going on. So Kingston acknowledges that when they're talking, they had to be discreet because they were still married. They hadn't divorced yet. Very interesting. We'll pay attention to that later. And, you know, she said she'd been planning on kind of getting rid of this nigga. But she hadn't done it yet. And I was telling her, don't do that right now because of, you know, like he going to get mad and he finna just start fucking shit up, you know, trying to make your life hell because you're leaving him. Really? Really? So Kingston is just completely on with the mission to ruin Hunter's life. Right? He's like, don't get rid of him yet. Really? Well, I start hitting her up. <clears throat> And, you know, she was sick for a little while. At least that's what she told me. So I'm hitting her up like, hey, you good? What's up? And I started noticing that she's ghosting me. So I'm like, damn, maybe what was told to me was true. And All right, pause. That is the entire explanation. Yes. There is no other explanation. All he says is, I heard they was talking shit about me. So he leaked her asshole. To yep. the internet. Exactly. I Some... swear to God, that's it. There's absolutely nothing else. He doesn't even give us an inkling of knowledge to know what potentially they could have said about him. Right. I heard, I'm not even sure if they were talking shit. He's not even sure. He just thinks it's a potential chance that she was talking shit. Immediately releases her asshole to the internet. Right. And again, this is the this is the fucked up logic here, right? Because Kingston's logic makes no sense, okay? So he's releasing this video to own Carissa. Why the fuck would Carissa care? 
Oh no, the whole world knows that she's a whore. If anything, this benefits her, right? Because if she's trying to get, if she's trying to be, get into the industry, quote unquote, right? This only serves her best interest in mind. The only person who's getting fucked over by this information being released is Hunter. Wait, by a lot. What if she's in on it and this is promo for her OnlyFans yes. post-divorce? Yes, this video. Do you think Carissa cares that any of this has gotten leaked out? No. Of course not. And if she does care, it's a tiny fraction to the extent that this fucks over Hunter. Because Hunter's the one of, of, of the two parties having this information being leaked. Hunter is the one that is way more affected by this, right? Obviously. Right? So his justification makes no fucking sense. Carissa was talking shit about me, so I had to leak everything. What? You had to leak Hunter's wife? Was chatting it up, trying and, to and set he up said this, and I don't know racial really... gang bangs with you? You had to leak that? How does that f harm Carissa? It doesn't. Now, I, I don't know if chat realizes this, because he said this very early on, and they didn't know where it was going at the time, at least most of them. But, like, this is the order of events. Hunter debates this guy on trans people, all right? Yeah. Then Carissa starts, like, arguing with him, and they end up getting in a call or whatever. And now she's fucking flying out to see him. So yeah. Hunter won the debate, but he lost the war. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, hence the title of the stream, Nick. <laughs> oh, so it gets worse. Take a listen. I'll insert some things like because one of the things that made me feel like, OK, this probably did actually happen is I remembered how when we were talking because first we were talking on Twitter and just right out the gate. This isn't we'd only been talking for like maybe a few days, a week or something. And she was just like, hey, you want some dirt on destiny? <laughs> no, dude. So here we have some dirt on destiny that she's sending to Kingston and Kingston's justification is, oh. If she's sending me dirt on Destiny, and she's talking shit about Destiny, therefore she must be talking shit about me, and therefore the anonymous tip that I got that she's talking shit about me must be true. This is like, the Leafy is here, Keemstar was talking shit about me to five other YouTubers, and not like specify- This is- that's this, we're, like, we're watching yep. that right now. Yep. But like, instead we're dropping nudes, boys. Which that's by it. the way, is horrible justification. So let's see the Destiny dirt, right? So she messages Kingston. It says, "Do you want to do you want to heat something juicy? Here's something juicy about Destiny." He says, "When you phrase it like juicy, you thought you were still reading sexting." Ah. <laughs> <laughs> he says, "When you phrase it like that, I'm not gonna say no." Did y'all used to fuck or something? She says, "No, he he." So you know not how yet. you used to have Lauren Southern on a lot? He's like, "Yeah." She, she says he was going to divorce Melina to get into a monogamous marriage, monogamous marriage with Lauren Southern. But Melina found out and got really mad and moved to Texas for two weeks. And then Lauren decided against for whatever reason. And so Destiny was like devastated, but just decided to stay with Melina. So Kingston says, when do, where did you hear all that? So she says, so Melina moved back. This was in August of 2022. Kingston says, I figured him and her fucked, but I don't think they could be with each other in a full-fledged relationship. Both are a little nutty in ways that don't mesh well. And so that's the extent of the dirt right there. So let's hear what Kingston had to say after that, right? Shiny Asparagus 2 says, what's Nick Strat in this situation? Wait, what? Nick Strat, what do you do in this situation? If what do I do in this situation? Suicide. Uh, yes, obviously. There's no way out. It's yeah. over. No, it's completely done. Hey, you want some dirt on Destiny? <laughs> I'm like, wait, what? Okay, let me hear it. And she starts telling me all about No, 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 no. I do have a strategy, and I will tell you as soon as the segment is over. I know exactly what Hunter should do if I'm all him. All right, write that one down, because we got a lot to get yep. to. Uh, Destiny and Lauren Southern were in a full-blown relationship, and they were going to be monogamous together. And then last minute, Lauren Southern pulled out. So then, you know, Melina left him. But as then... far as I heard, hold on, hold on. The other rumor is that nobody pulled out, you know? You heard the other recent <laughs> Destiny and Lauren Southern rumor? I heard a very Aww, similar rumor that ended very differently. He impregnated her. That was the other rumor. Yeah, nobody pulled out that time. Impregnating Lauren Southern is a W. Let's just get that straight, okay? Is that a W? Yes. 
You know, she went to Texas and Destiny had to kind of go crawling back to her and just kind of, you know, take it as sloppy seconds because he really wanted to be with Lauren. And I'm just like, damn, like, while she's telling me damn. this, and yeah, it's entertaining. I ain't going to front. In the back of my head, I'm thinking, damn, like, no one asked you for any of this. You just unprompted, just volunteered this shit, this whole man's other life story. And so... Wait a minute. Hold on, Kingston. You're surprised that she just unloaded another man's story while you're fucking her while she's married to another man. How is this surprising to you? She's obviously trash. You know, when it comes to my shit and when I'm texting her and she's ghosted me now, I'm thinking, damn, she might know that somebody snitched. They might be using it against her. Like, hey, you know, I just fucked up your whole shit. You know, I told this nigga what you've been talking about. And so I'm like, damn. Like I better bet post your pussy really, online. You know, did say what they said. They said so. I just decided all right, I'm gonna make this video, and I'm gonna just put everything out there. If a motherfucker lying on you, I sincerely feel like the best way to deal with that is just tell the whole truth. Show everything. Show all the receipts. Show the logs. Do everything. And now, motherfucker who's hating on you, hey, everybody get to the side and they get to see. So hey. in this video. I'm gonna go back and edit in and I'm gonna throw up like text messages and nothing crazy. I ain't trying to dox nobody. You know, they keep fronting. Dude, I wouldn't public. want to dox you. I'm just and gonna put your fucking. I'll dox your pussy and ass and tits. <laughs> this is insane. Why this not? Is so crazy. This what really is insane, happened is bro. she just wants to fuck mad dick. Like, that's what she nah. liked about me is. I told her stories about when we was in high school, how we had homies that were girls and we weren't possessive over them. Like you could come to the crib, fuck me one day, fuck the homie the next day, fuck the other homie the next day. And you were still accepted amongst the crew. We just shared all the girls with everybody. And she was looking at it like, God damn, I ain't know that shit was possible. <laughs> like, you Oh my, so she <laughs> it just keeps getting worse. She just wants to ride the cock carousel. Why? Is on Hunter, is he okay? You know, y'all just let a chick do her whole shit and don't judge her for it. And I'm like, yeah, nigga, like, we all like sex. We all like, you know, why should I, why should I hate on you? Because you slut, when I'm a slut, don't make sense to me. So like, me and her bonded over that shit. Like, we got along. Like, she want to be slutty and she want to fuck mad dudes. I fuck mad chicks. What's there to beef about? That's <laughs> <laughs> this video is psychotic, dude. So this is, it this is insane. It's but insane. Dude, you know, like, she just, he's super vanilla. She's talking about he got performance issues. You know, she want to go to swinger. Really? He's got performance issues. Why even mention that? What's the point of mentioning that if this whole video is supposed to be in self-defense? Again, he's just shitting on Hunter. If you think Carissa is affected negatively by this video being released, you're retarded. You're actually retarded. Obviously, the only person taking L's from this video is Hunter. Clubs and he's not sure. Like, even they, they're... Uh breakup that he announced that wasn't supposed to happen that's why he took it down so fast she told him hey let's just try having an open relationship at first you know come the fuck on really you no know, that way she can get some dick can get some pussy and then maybe that'll make the relationship stronger because you'll see what an open relationship would make the marriage strong. if you're getting other dick that will make the relationship stronger. These people are so delusional. That it's not the end of the world to fuck other people. Well, this nerd, you know, he went out and made the statement and kind of just blew everything up. And then he's like, well, I'm going to go and live with my guy. Dude, literally pro Jared. Dude, again, the statement that was released, if I have it, one second. I was, it's been deleted, by the way, so I have to use a screenshot. Uh, let me find it. Hold on. Where is it? All right. Screenshot two here. This is the statement. Which just got Carissa and I have both decided to amicably end our marriage. We're so close friends with no hate in our hearts towards each other. And we share a vested interest in raising our children together in a safe environment. Thank you for respecting our privacy. This guy 
Kingston is acting like the statement blew everything up. This is a very like short, to the point statement. I don't understand how this is blowing anybody up. I want to just specify, though we're making jokes tonight. Again, like Hunter is the guy getting fucked over here. Obviously, right? Like his statement is not blowing it up. He's not making drama. He's trying, like, he doesn't even, according to what he's saying, Hunter doesn't even know the true extent of her treachery against him, right? He just thinks, oh, the marriage has fallen off, whatever, blah, 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 let's just end it, right? He's acting like this was a big deal, and therefore Hunter must suffer because of it. Why? It still wouldn't have made, it's still, like, this still would have been nobody else's business. If y'all ain't feel like y'all had to dirty my name and shit for whatever reason. Y'all ain't had to dirty my name. How was Hunter dirtying his name? How? He hasn't demonstrated that. He talked about how he got a rumor. He heard a rumor that Carissa was talking shit. But his justification for coming to that conclusion was that Carissa dumped a bunch of shit to him about Destiny. That everybody's already been talking about. Just to be clear. Chris has like a two year long history dating back like all the way or whatever of just shitting on destiny. <laughs> yeah, Carissa is like So it's really not a cause for concern. Yeah. Carissa is like delusionally obsessed with Destiny. Carissa thought the Mr. Girl document was good. I'm not kidding. That should tell you how lost she is. Okay. His argument is like she's gonna snake me like she snaked Destiny, but she doesn't even like Destiny. Yeah. On top of that, his argument is that an open relationship may strengthen their relationship. And his one example of an open relationship in this case is the one where he claims Destiny was going to divorce his wife and it blew up in his face. Yeah. To become it's just, monogamous. It's just, it doesn't make any sense. It's just tragic. Look, I'm understanding why Hunter won the first debate between them. But again, looking at that Riz, I understand why he lost the second yeah. one. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and who knows? Because if she lying to her husband about me, why should I believe she's not lying to me about what she's telling her husband? She probably telling Hunter the whole time, like, you know, like, this is a girlfriend who's just giving me advice and shit. When really, she's supposed to be jumping on a flight. She's supposed to come this week to come get some dick. Oh, okay. And then, you know, okay, let's uh, throw this in there and shit. Just, I wasn't sure if I was going to put this in the video. Well, Part of me feels like what happened is probably she told Hunter about me. Maybe he went through her phone or some shit, and then he told her, hey, ghost that nigga, or it's going to be problems. And then he went and talked to his little nerd. I'm sure Hunter, by the way, real words from Hunter. He said ghost that. <laughs> yeah, he was like ghost that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> audience about me, <clears throat> and it might be one of them little nerds from his audience that hit me up because they don't really fuck with him the way he thought they fuck with him. That's my speculation, but obviously it's just speculation. But yeah, okay, so the other day, she hit me up like, hey, cause she always act desperate for money. And it's weird because she supposedly got a good job. She's like. All right, so now we've got some horrific DMs. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this shit right here is nightmare inducing material. So this is Carissa. Yeah, stand back and stand by. <laughs> this is just evil. So Carissa texts Kingston and says, how tough would a gangbang be to set up? And, oh, no. And Kingston says, depends on what you want it to look like. Are you thinking of just trying to charge as many men to fuck you all at once? She says, I'll have someone willing to pay to have a video made for them. I just need 5K, but he's willing to pay more for more people. I said four or five could be possible, and I thought we could split the difference if I could film and edit it. Kingston says, if you could travel, I could probably set it up easily. She says, I'm expecting he'd be willing to pay around $8,000. I should be able to. Kingston right, wait, pause, pause, pause. Do you know there's a statement from the sugar daddy? Oh. Uh... What? There's a. What do you mean? The guy who is supposed to pay. Wh where's the statement? Here. This is the guy who is setting it up. Should I read this now or later? Play it. Play it. It's, oh, a, okay, it's a video okay. clip of him talking. All right, all right. We got the statement. If there's eight dudes and they're all black, <laughs> I think that's worth noting. No, no. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. <laughs> Oh, what the fuck, man? 
<laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so Kingston talks to her and says, You seem scared as fuck one guy from ten you seem scared to fuck one guy from tender though. How are you going to be able to handle five lol? She says, I have people lined up with Tinder. I almost fucked someone yesterday, but Hunter was throwing up. My my health <laughs> stuff is wrapping up, so it will be easier. So she was going to go fuck somebody from Tinder, but because Hunter was sick and puking everywhere, she had to stay home and take care of him instead of go out and get dick, according to her. So then Kingston says, I told you to make content, to send me videos of you using your toys to blow a guy off Tinder. You always agree, but never come through. So he's like coaching her to get a little bit more dirty and not, you know, avoid making the content. She says, I know I feel really bad. I feel really fucking bad. The UTI turned into a yeast infection because of the I'm antibiotics. So things have, haven't exactly been going up there. Kingston says, that's not the point. Health stuff happens. I don't judge people for things out of their control. She says, I also had this first tender guy scheduled yesterday, but he had an open house, so he moved it to Friday. And the other guy was my backup plan. I swear to you, the UTI, which started right when I agreed to fuck and send it to you, started the same day. So I got an antibiotics, which is what caused the ulcer, and then the strep happened, so that entire chunk of time was just like fucking wasted. Kingston says, I get all of that, and like I said, I'm not going to hold you, your health against you. No one wants to be sick. The problem is that you don't just don't seem to be very obedient personality, generally speaking. Keep just, in mind, this is self-defense, by the way. I, I'm aware, like, this is of course. A crazy, but this is self-defense. Totally, right. Just reading that word, you probably got triggered. I looked at you being sexy, book smart, and slutty, and thought the sky was the limit. Part of me felt like if I could help mold you a bit, you could even be a great girlfriend, potentially. She says, I didn't get triggered. I understand what you're saying. He says, I never want to seem like I'm being mean to you, but I guess I'm the type of person that always would rather just let an independent girl go fail on her own and learn her lesson the hard way rather than try to force her to make good decisions. She says, are you saying you'd rather not help me any longer? He says, I'm saying that if you belong to me, you make a million dollars and boss all the way up like you have the potential to, that's a win for me because I'm not only going to make you pay me, but I get to have a dope bossed up chick in my life. But you're but he's doing- literally a pimp. Like this is pimping. He's right. pimping her out. She's going to become a prostitute and he is pimping her. Yep. But you're doing everything you can to try and crash this train. I'll try to help you correct course for now, but I need you to be a lot better than you have been. She now, says, I'm wondering, I have a question for you in particular. If, if this does go down, right, and he, like, flies her out and stuff like that, if he starts, like, garnishing her wages and, like, putting her in poor living conditions, would you say that's sex trafficking? Um, uh, not if she agrees to it, but it's immoral. Agrees? Well, how do you agree to garnishing someone's wages without their knowledge? Well, okay, you, obviously not, but, like, I don't know. <laughs> Listen, the whole Andrew Tate stuff has made the def. Listen, the whole Andrew Tate argument has made the definition of sex trafficking like so diluted and strange. Okay, I'm just saying, uh, some of these people. I'm just saying, when it's Andrew Tate is sex trafficking, when it's fucking Kingston Cox over here, it's just I don't know. The only thing that I'm prescribing is a necessary indulgement in Jesus Christ. Maybe no. I mean, this is like. You know, she was talking earlier in the DMs about wanting some atheist dick. Yeah, I mean, honestly, Jesus left her life, and then five black dicks filled the fucking void. This is the definition of godless <laughs> and lost. But <laughs> but it continues, okay? But you're doing everything you can to crash this train. I'll try and help you correct course for now, but I need you to be, be a lot better than you have been. She says, that's fair. He says, I can't even get you to follow porn stars on Twitter. She says, I'll be a lot better. I'm really sorry. He says, no one in this world is rooting for you to excel in this arena more than I am. What's the real story behind why you're so desperate for quick cash? Now, this is where she starts shit-talking Hunter, who at the time, by the way, chat, I just want to stress, she's still married to. She's still married to this guy, and she references it right here. She says, Hunter is being so annoying. 
We keep going on uh, and getting into petty fights. I had no idea he was going to announce it like he did everywhere, and we agreed to start with separation to evaluate if we wanted an open marriage, which apparently he forgot about. I wasn't upset about it, and he was like, sorry, but he always says that and brings it up later. He just needs to go. Positive is where we are going. Uh, positive is we are going to sh straight to divorce now. Also positive is that both of us feel pretty sure we're just annoying each other. So Kingston says, I didn't realize he announced it already. Figured that would come a little bit later. Maybe a couple weeks, maybe he acted out. She says, same, lol. He says, just so you know, it's going to get much worse, and you have to be able to deal with it. Life happens, but you have to stay on your game. She says, how will it get worse? I understand having a space without him will help. He says, he's going to grow to see you as his adversary. Find someone he really doesn't like and think about how we want, went about treating them. That's how he's going to treat you. She says, why? He says, being apart will make him dislike you faster. She says, how? How is she confused by this? He says, I told you all of this already, lol. She says, because it will be harder for him to get pussy. He says, that's not the big part. You just stole his entire future. Now he's got to go figure out a new one. Right or wrong, he's going to blame you for that. She sends a skull emoji and says, damn, okay. Well, the guy is going to talk to me to make sure we are on the same page later tonight. I think he's looking at 7,000. He says, nice, that's good news. You could use some good news. She says, yeah, haha. -ha. He says, just be careful with what Hunter knows about you fucking other guys. You want to fast track him hating you, let him know you're fucking for money. She says, anything I should be aware of, obviously he needs to pay first and not over PayPal. Anything else, I'll be discreet. He says, this is the gangbang guy, right? Is he local? She says, yes and no, I don't believe so. He says the higher amount is the higher amount someone is offering to pay, the more on alert you have to be on scam potential. But not just scam potential, an added difficulty is there's almost no way for them to give it to you as one chunk payment. They gotta break it up like maximum five hundred dollars at a time, if that. If he's got that amount of money to spend and it isn't overseas, I'd say when the deed is done, get on a flight and get paid in person. Probably even make a date out of it and charge him for that too. Don't make the entire pitch now though. For now, just find out where he is located and what he's willing to pay. Good to know your own options without showing your hand. She says, he just wants a video though, not to actually fuck me himself. Makes sense about the money. He says, he said the literal thing. Then she sends a screenshot of her talking to the quote-unquote gangbang guy. He asked me to coordinate it. I thought he might want to be involved. B, it's literally just a custom video. I can clarify that in the call. He says, it's about managing his expectations while leaving your options open. Don't assume one thing and it be more than he even needed in return. Like, you're just offering that up can pee on you was unnecessary. So, Frank, the gangbang guy says, let me see how much money I can get, what things you up to with the guys. She says, almost anything. I draw the line at drinking slash eating urine or feces. I'm fine to have them pee on me, though. I'm talking with a guy who is- Oh, my God. Dude, why does it always go back to fucking piss? By the way, self-defense, just want to remind everyone. Totally, of course, self-defense. So she says, I'm fine with having them pee on me. I'm talking with a guy who has connections, and I believe we can set this up pretty quickly. Frank the gangbang guy says, let me know what kind of guys you prefer. She says, older, typically. She's evil, guys. She's demonic. This is what a godless life looks like, Chad. I just want to clarify that, okay? So all of that entire time, I've had this video muted while Kingston has been talking. Let's hear what Kingston was saying while all these messages were playing on the screen. Oh, sorry, I have it muted still. <laughs> Not speculation, but obviously it's just speculation. But yeah, okay, so the other day, she hit me up like, hey, cause she always act desperate for money. And it's weird because she supposedly got a good job. She's like, how can I make 5,000 real quick? <laughs> and I'm like, Doug, I should not, I can't call it because that's not how this goes. Like the way I, I instruct people is you got to treat this shit like a real job. You got to grind. It's a million other girls. 
competing with you and you got to outcompete them. There ain't no fast way to the top. You just got to grind like crazy. And she never wanted to do that. She just wanted to kind of get to the end point, you know, get to the money. So <clears throat> she hits me back like, I got this dude who's saying he'll give me like $7,000 if you could set up a gangbang. You know, how difficult would that be for you to set that up for me? And she's like, hey, if you could set up a gangbang and it's got to be all black dudes, he wants me to do it outdoors and just a bunch of black dudes. And I told him, I'm cool with y'all peeing on me. Y'all just can't pee in my mouth and my eyes. Y'all going to see the receipts. <laughs> but she's like, how could I, you know, could you set that up for me? I'll give you a cut. And Bro, the West has fucking fallen. Can we just establish that? Okay. The West has fucking fallen. This is what a godless society looks like. This is what happens when you abandon God. You turn to a life of filth and piss. Okay? And shit, I'm like, yeah. I mean, if you could travel, I'll set it up because of, yeah, I got I got homeboys out here and shit. You know, we can run the train on you and everybody going to be cool on camera. But obviously this is where tips was heading, by the way. <laughs> getting, getting pissed on. Okay. Obviously, I'm not going to do that shit for free. That's a lot of work. You know, we supposed to be fucking, but now I got to go recruit five other niggas. You know, like you asked me to do a real job. So I'm like, OK. And she's cool, too. She was like, hey, you know, I'll give you a cut. This was kind of like our last conversation, really, where, you know, we were talking about that, trying to set all that up. Eventually, she decided she thinks dude wasn't good for the money. So, you know, we dropped all of that. And then, you know, it turns into some other shit. And I don't know. I feel like this video has been going too long already. I feel like. What? But you no, haven't explained what you did no, yet. No, no. I mean, this video has gone too long insane. already. Again, he released this to fuck over Carissa. I struggle to see how she's getting fucked over by this. As long as I throw in the receipts and I'm going to go back in and I'm going to throw in the receipts. Y'all kind of get the gist of everything. And y'all just kind of see that, like. The cause for the breakup is what they said it was. Is those two just don't got good chemistry. Like, Thanks. she wants to sell pussy. And he wants, like, a housewife. Oh. Dude, he's trying to serve cunt. Oh, why? 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 So bad. But she said, like, he so was getting insecure. Her. Like, when she started jumping on the cam sites... She was making more money camming than he is from streaming. So it's like, she makes all the money. This nigga, she said he can't be with the kids alone. He gets Stop! overwhelmed. So she makes all the money. She does all the child duties. And then he's got performance issues sexually. Why are you saying this? What's the point in airing this out? Am I crazy? What is the point of airing this out? He's like, man, he's got a tiny dick and he's a little pussy. What? This so, bad. she's like, this nigga takes forever to come. You know, he, he just, man, I'm not really blaming her for wanting to leave this nigga. Really? My opinion. And it's just my opinion, but keep it real. If, if the girl got to make all the money and she's making more money than you, and y'all got kids. What And she fuck? do all the taking care of the kids. Like, when she was supposed to fly out here, she was like, I got to get my mom, who's not even that healthy, to take the kids because this nigga can't be alone with the kids for two days. And then she's thinking, now that y'all broken up, that you're going to be fine taking the kids on Tuesdays and Thursdays so she can go suck dick. Hunter ain't going for that. What? And I mean, so maybe I'm, maybe I'm biased on her side, even though I shouldn't be because clearly she was talking shit. But if I'm in his position, maybe I don't fuck with her either. And, and maybe she, maybe he don't even know. It's part of the reason why I'm throwing in the fucking you know receipts because of who knows what lies she didn't told this dude. If I'm hearing what I'm hearing about myself, she probably didn't told this nigga all sorts of shit that don't make sense. What? He probably wondering how I even got her phone number. Although I see that it's silence half the time. She she probably hid that shit. So it's like, hey, this it is what it is. I'm just getting out in front of shit because if y'all not finna dirty up my name, after this, I just want to be done with the whole shit. I want to be done with both people. Unless if he want to rematch over that trans debate, that I will do. 
But what? Rematch? He offers a rematch. So after he dumps unnecessarily all of this dirt on Hunter, he actually has the balls to offer a rematch for the debate about trans shit. This is amazing. This is genuinely, I... Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, chat. For the last year, a little bit of my brain is fucking broken. Because I've covered so many of these retarded stories, these retarded situations. I don't even know what reality means anymore. It's just, it doesn't... It, the fact that something like this can actually fucking happen just makes me think that I'm in a fucking movie and none of this is actually real. It's, it's genuinely caused me... Like, I'm like, well, how does this happen? Like, think about all of the people we've covered that have self-destructed, that have had, like, embarrassing shit get leaked and stuff like this. This is the stuff of jokes, of memes that never is actually supposed to happen. But here we are watching the 12-minute 47 real reason Hunter Avalon and Chris are divorcing from the side dude's perspective. Really? Than that, I'll probably just block everybody and then just my next videos be about the shit that this video should have been about, which is like debating type shit and talking politics. Because that's what this channel really supposed to be for. Either that or like reviewing shit. But reviewing anyway, shit. this video turned out to be way longer than it should have been. Fuck it though. Kingston Hawk. Fuck it though. And then he just signs out. Kingston Hawk. The man, the myth, the legend. And this is the only video that's been listed on his channel. Who even knows who this guy is? I looked. I tried to look up the debate that he had with Hunter. Couldn't find it. Um... We have a couple statements that have been issued from Hunter as well as the wife, Carissa Keeley. Carissa Avalone. Um, so there's a lot to get into. Hunter is tweeting up a storm right now. Nick, are you prepared to investigate even further? Let's investigate. We got to find. We got to find the clues here. So this is the statement that Hunter released earlier today. 155, 151,000 views. Let me get this straight. A random guy makes a video spreading falsehoods and revenge porn and everyone just runs with Hunter got cucked by black dudes. I know this would be a dream come true for all of my impressionable haters. <laughs> but this is false. Thanks, Hunter. Chris and I did OnlyFans work together for a bit, but getting paid to have sex with my then wife is nothing short of a baller move. I what don't even is fuck. This is Without move, getting boys. money, he tries to flex. Hunter's so Hunter tries to reclaim his masculinity by flexing. I'm e even when I fuck, I'm getting paid. This is the worst thing ever. This, this is, is horrible. Just terrible, this is man. Uh, so it continues. Uh, Any screenshot showing Carissa showing sexual interest and engagement with the other people was after we had separated and agreed to divorce. This can be verified by comparing my tweet announcing the divorce and the dates aligned on any messages. Now, Oh, no, I didn't know that said that because... Wait, why would he say that if it's not true? Well, it's I don't think that's true because we looked at the messages. They were from May. He announced his divorce in June. And in the text messages, she, even Carissa tells Kingston they hadn't divorced yet. So that's not true. Unless the messages are fake. So this part is just not true. Then he says and says, lastly, the OnlyFans thing was meant to be anonymous. So the scumbag who made the video spread his false narrative also violated her privacy and broke the law by spreading revenge porn. Legal action will be taken against the video producer for being in violation of Texas revenge porn laws. YouTube has already been contract contacted as well as law enforcement. Now, this la these last two paragraphs are probably true. Because like I said before, I saw crack. So, it seems like that was re probably revenge porn, if I had to guess. So then Hunter says, you know, he drops a meme statement, the truth. So this is pretty tough for me. Wow. I swear I thought Tyrone, Jamal, Washington, Daquan, and Big Tyler were just her study buddies working late at the library with her. And keep in mind, while he's releasing all of these statements, everybody is just fucking tearing him up in the fucking quote, geez, including Flamenco, apparently. Now, I don't know what Flamenco has to say. 
So it's really shitty to spread nudes to like mock people and their loved ones. But how the fuck does one sell their nudes online anonymously? Come on, Hunter. You should know better. Flamenco, who's never been in a relationship before, is critiquing Hunter Avalon. Even, I mean, that's just, I don't even know hey, what don't I... fuck with him. He's going back to school. He might get his degree <laughs> when he turns 40, okay? He might meet a nice, young, 20-year-old gal, okay? I don't even know what the fuck Flamenco has any business so he, talking when about he, this. Dude, when he goes to college, he'll be like, when I was your age, I watched Lol... <laughs> No, could you imagine? Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? Flamenco, who consumes lolicon, is gonna is going to talk about actual real relationships that Flamenco is only jacked off about in his imagination. So here is Carissa Avalone, who previously privated her Twitter. She's now come back into uh, <laughs> the public discourse to address this. So, are you guys ready to hear this? By the way, followers going up as you were holding over her name. Yep. You were hovering her name and numbers were increasing. Absolutely. Of course I'm following this shit. Why the fuck would I not? So, here's what she says. And ultimately, I've been reminded to trust very sparingly. These events have solidified my decision to step away from the internet. Recently, there's been a lot of conjecture about the context surrounding Hunter and my separation. I'd like to provide some clarity. During the six years we were together, I never cheated on Hunter. For the past few years of our relationship, we had discussed separation multiple times, always for reasons that are personal and unrelated to the situation. Hunter and I had discussed and agreed to making anonymous OnlyFans content together after I had a conversation with someone I believed was an industry professional, Kingston. I viewed this as a lucrative side hustle, Kingston advised me on how to build the, pr the presence safely and anonymously. Eventually, Kingston felt like he was imparting a lot of insights to me for little in return and asked me to engage with him to a greater uh, to degree sexually. He mistook my compliance as genuine interest. During my conversations with him, he encouraged me to cheat on Hunter physically, which was a boundary I was not willing to cross. When I was considering ending things with Hunter, he tried to pressure me into waiting because he believed it would be detrimental for the OnlyFans business. He was unhappy when I didn't comply with either of these requests. His increasingly controlling nature throughout our conversations made me more and more hesitant to meet him and his girlfriend in person. I was scheduled to shoot OnlyFans content with his girlfriend only, but canceled the flights and hotel. I took some time away to think through things and eventually ghosted him a bit, which led to the release of this video. Regarding the rumors of Augie. Hunter's... What? Oh, Augie. What's up? I went to reply to her Twitter. What's up? Do not refresh the page. Okay. I lit As you were, you were just on her account, as I went to hit send... She deleted her entire Twitter. It is gone. Fuck! Oh no! She deleted her entire Twitter. Do no. not. No. All right. Be very careful with button clicks. Okay. All right. I've screenshotted what's on the screen right now. All right. We've got it saved right now, ladies and gentlemen. So she's already tucked tail, which is a bad sign. So the last page here. Regarding the rumors of Hunter's insecurity surrounding uh, finances, this was something he was working through, something to which I was trying to be sensitive. Due to the anonymous nature of my work, there weren't many people who knew what was happening that I could discuss with how to make Hunter feel more valued. With the experience Kingston had in the industry, I mentioned it to him. After that point in time, Hunter worked through his concerns without the need for my influence. Since Hunter and I mutually came to a decision to end things, we have been attempting to find another living situation for him. While things have stabilized, initially there was tension as we transitioned from being married to roommates. Wanted to keep things as easy as possible, I considered expanding my work, even doing things that made me uncomfortable to expedite the process. Then she shares DMs between her and Kingston. Kingston says, I just think you have internal conflicts that you should be past at this point. She says, what? By the way, these DMs are before the DMs we read earlier. He says, one of the biggest mistakes I see people make is not being honest about what this is and their role in it. It's the same mistake I made for years. She says, oh, is this about the exploitation combo? You feel like I'm lying to myself? That I'm not part of a larger exploitative system? 
Kingston says, no, it's about you being scared anytime I want to, I want you to entertain me sexually. Oh. So how does this situation help Carissa? Because I read, I feel like I just read a whole lot of bullshit. How does this save her ass? She was obviously wanting to fuck. She obviously was willing to entertain flying out and doing gangbangs while they were still in a relationship. How does this save her, Nick? Bro, she got that dog in her. No, dude, this fucking, <laughs> dude, this semen is retarded. This makes no Bro, sense. She got that bowl in her. Bro, she did. This doesn't explain anything. Am I like crazy and saying this explained nothing? Because it didn't. She was. It doesn't answer anything. Address the DMs. Address why you were talking to him. Actually, while in you were her still defense, married. wait, chat's right. This is a white girl doing porn. I'm pretty lucky she doesn't have that dog in her. Ah. Uh, white women she, fuck dogs, Augie. It just happens. All she said is that uh, she was a little bit scared to do it. Okay, well, that's what Kingston showed. Nothing has been changed by this statement. And Hunter retweeting this just hurts my soul just a little bit. Actually, a lot. What the fuck, man? So somebody writes Hunter's initial statement and says, this is how someone would cope if their wife were railed by a gang of black men. And you just sat back and watched. Hunter says, this is how someone would cope when their perfect little story of me is contradicted by evidence provided by me and my wife what evidence what evidence was provided be fair Can they've shown as much evidence as kingston I, I what kingston showed evidence of her talking to hunter or, no sorry, i mean but kingston, kingston didn't, kingston didn't while show any evidence for anything he was saying he was like they're talking shit about me therefore i must release right. your asshole dude there's been nothing shown the narrative is not has not been debunked how is hunter gonna wait, say wait, wait, wait. Augie, reread that. Reread that message. Someone just... Hold on, hold on. Reread what? it. Go Hunter? back to the other one. The one before that. The other... Right, 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 yeah, hold on. Ultimately, I've been reminded to trust very sparingly... No, 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 above that. I'm sorry. I was watching the stream delayed. It's the Hunter one. This is how someone would cope when their perfect little story of me is contradicted by evidence provided by me and my wife. Who? Me and my wife. Who? Wife! His wife? Uh, I'm going to add Turkey Tom for the call. The divorce is going well, I see. This is just unironically sad, man. I'm going to add Turkey Tom. <laughs> Gentlemen, talk Turkey Tom. What's going on, man? From the moment I saw Carissa Avalon, I knew she was terrific. She was built for BBC. She was perfectly built for it. Okay? She was made for it. She was made to take it. She's in excellent condition. Yeah, you know, you know, me and Carissa back in the day, we used to mess around. She used to get sloppy with it. You know how it is. You know, Hunter will wash his shit from the closet while he made his little YouTube videos. It ain't no uh, big deal. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's funny, yes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is just sad. man. I don't know if you've been following this or if you know what's been going on, but I mean, Hunter got completely fucked over by everybody here. Hunter became the hunted tonight. <laughs> Yeah, uh, definitely. Thoughts on Carissa Avalon, Tom? Um, she's a beautiful, strong, independent woman, and I support her journey to create beautiful children. Oh, That's it. Oh my god. That's it. So this is a new tweet from Hunter Avalon. Somebody just wrote him and said, "Why couldn't she be honest to let everyone know how leftist men are weak?" Oh, sorry. This is a message somebody wrote Hunter's wife. Uh, after she's just now breaking news, deleted her Twitter account. Somebody wrote her and said, why couldn't you be honest and let everybody know how leftist men are weak and undesirable? You fantasize constantly about real men your whole marriage until you burst and became a wannabe porn star. Why do you insist on creating more miserable, effeminate dudes like Hunter? Hunter responds and says, hold up. Twitter fuckhead user number 123 actually knows Carissa's true thoughts and feelings. Incredible how many mind readers live amongst us. So he's just full on coping, man. I mean, this is just again. Dude, the, the funniest thing was his like his like gay little selfies. She's like, "Hey guys, this is what I look like," but it's like ironic. But like, you think I'm cute? Do you see those? 
Which one? He made this one. He made this one. He was like, "Muslims are mad at me." Was the caption? And it was like, "Oh bruh. yeah, because he's been." <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Muslims what are, are you always doing? so yeah, mad that at one. me. <laughs> oh, <my laughs> what is this picture? What is this drip, dude? You're thirty. You're thirty. Oh man, dude, this is just fucking sad, dude. This is just uh, pathetic. But again, here's the thing: Hunter looks pathetic and weak here, but. Carissa and Kingston are the fucking assholes here. I mean, this guy was married and had kids. There's kids here. Kids are getting affected by this shit. What the fuck? What the actual fuck? Now, chat, like I said before, and I hope you guys are in the screen share, Hunter, prior to Kingston's video, debated a, tr a troll. He debated a hater over his divorce because like we said before, Hunter's debated many people about how being effeminate and being emotional around your women actually makes them like you more contrary to what the red pillars say are you guys ready to listen to hunter argue this position oh no are you guys ready to listen to 20 minutes of cope because Get i've already life. seen this entire debate and it's priceless ready let's see yep. it right now Hunter, you need to really chill. I can tell this is you're probably on your period or something, but mm -hmm. just let me yeah. let me get a word in, okay? So pretty much, That's women will say they want a man to cry. <laughs> yeah, but this guy, by the way, the the thing that makes this debate even worse, this guy is just totally retarded, and for some reason, instead of hanging up the call like anybody would, Hunter engages seriously with them. Why? His I'm voice even them. sounds like he's fucking disabled. <laughs> and you just keep going, like you're basically bullying a retard on live stream, dude. Yeah. Come on. Well, the retard's the one bullying him. <laughs> That's the worst part. It's like... Yeah, true. If somebody true. called into your stream and was d debated you about a real divorce you just had and sounded like this, any rational person would hang up the phone. But no. Hunter has to the actually thing is, like, seriously engage them. <laughs> if you go through like a breakup, like I feel like you'd be better just not engaging. I feel not like there's no benefit to even... Yeah. I mean, yeah. maybe you make your one little tweet where you're like, our relationship's private. I didn't get cucked. Like, that's it. Like, that's probably what all you need to say instead of like playing into the memes and shit. Like, has he not been made fun of on the internet? Like, ever? Like, this is this is just not how you do it, bro. No, it's not at all. <laughs> By the way, Tom Dark Chat, I hope you guys are enjoying this. I think you're live, right? Uh, I was. And then my internet, it, the fucked up. It's just a whole thing, but oh, no, I, I was live for like an hour, and I finally had more viewers than you, and the main internet fucking died. Damn. So now I'm back, but that's okay. Listen, we come crawling back to RFC. Oh, you're so we you're still back, back live? No, no, I'm I'm not live now. I'm on your oh, stream. Damn. I guess okay, so. Okay. I am live in a way. Well, I was but, gonna say, no. Tom Dark Chat, enjoy this, but it's, I guess it's just the RFC chat. Tom Dark Chat is no more. It's okay. They can F. go fuck themselves anyway, because they started making fun of me as soon as my internet went down, which is not appreciated. So wow. fuck you guys. But we're here now. We're here. Jared through five uh, tier one says address the piss allegations. I think that's directed to Carissa. Yeah, she wanted to get peed on, but not the eyes or mouth. She has standards. Okay, don't worry, chat. Totally. All right. So here is Hunter debating Indian Smaggle about his divorce. Because they think it's what men want to hear. So, and they may genuinely believe that they want a man to cry in front of them. But once they genuinely experience it and realize that it's not very, uh, it, it's kind of disgusting and very very weak of them it oftentimes results in them leaving and we see what happens with you and your wife okay so let me go ahead and translate you have no evidence whatsoever that me being emotionally honest and vulnerable in front of my wife had any contributing factor whatsoever to the divorce you're just <laughs> clinging to that and repeating it to try to convince yourself it's true i understand that you probably do the same thing as far as your father's love by repeating yourself over and over again that your dad oh. loves you to just try to convince yourself that it's true but again Shut the f up. You don't get to this say just fucking, because like this Sigma music <laughs> in the background as he's like describing his like marriage falling apart. Like, <laughs> not literally. good. Okay, I understand why you would think that you understand the intricacies of my divorce, but let me tell you something about this right now. You're, there is no evidence or uh, comprehensive peer-reviewed studied data to uh, have any evidence towards whether or not me crying in front of my wife leads to the divorce or not. I think I can There's understand There's absolutely my no evidence to support the idea that just because, uh, what's his name? Kensington, what's his fucking name? Uh, there's there's no Marissa. evidence to support that the average black penis is larger than the Kingston. average white penis. There's simply no evidence, and there's no evidence that she would like it more even if that was the case. You're aware the women can only feel three inches of penetration anyway, which uh, would mean that my four clearly has no effect on Carissa in a positive or negative way, and she's perfectly fine with it. How do you know what she likes? Why don't you call her and ask? And maybe she'll hook up with you too. 
and then she'll be off my plate. Sorry, <laughs> we can keep going. Sad. All right, let's hear two pump Trump. By the way, the reason I'm 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 shitting on this dude is because the one time I had a conversation with him without even knowing him, he was a complete dick. I'd never had an interaction oh, with yeah, him. He that's was very right. mean. He was extremely rude for no reason to me, to you, to Michael Alberto. So I've decided to come on now, and I've decided to take my victory lap and proclaim <laughs> victory over him being memed on the internet on Twitter. So yeah, that's this guy. It. I have no real personal investment in any of this. I don't care. This guy was rude to me once, so therefore. I think his entire life following part is deserved, actually. <laughs> no, yeah, exactly. Yes. 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 That's my mentality. <laughs> right. Of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. This is what he posts on his channel. This guy needs a strong dude to guide him. Yeah, exactly. Maybe Kingston could give him some tips. We'll see about that. And then the relationship ended. It's the fault of that thing. <sighs> So I heard recently that you and your wife got into divorce. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that's the intro with his him straight face. Like he looks so like concerned and forlorn. Uh, what like, the fuck? This is like a Mel time clip. This is like the same shit. It's like just zooming Why? on his face. So I heard you got a fucking divorce. <laughs> Why, man? Because I, I thought it was interesting because you like to promote a lot of um. I suppose uh, you like to um, tell people about how they should date and why. And you give a lot of advice on things like that. So I, I just thought it was interesting that you give that type of advice, yet you still get a divorce. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. One of the most effective. He needs some milk. <laughs> it's one of the most effective opening statements to debate I've ever heard in my entire fucking life. You give advice on relationships? Well, explain why you just got a divorce. Explain your divorce, bitch. <laughs> do you think that having general advice on, like, dating and stuff, does, do, do you think that that means that you should be able to make a relationship work even if it's not really compatible? Like, would you acknowledge, for example, that some of the more red pill people, like Andrew Tate or Sneeko, for example, they might talk a big game about how good they are with women, and they might be really good with women, but regardless of how good they are um they're not going to be able to like make a relationship work if you're ultimately not compatible do you agree or disagree with that i suppose i agree with that to an extent but wouldn't so then you it try could to be a very, sure okay so if you agree with it well hold on wait, let me just finish my point really quickly so if you agree with that then it sounds like you're very easily able to recognize then that i can still give advice on these hold issues on, hold on. and hold on no i'm gonna finish first wait i have never said that i'm gonna finish first wait if you follow my advice you are guaranteed to be married forever my friends none of this has been the case i have only given general advice for how you should treat women and the general mindset you should have in regards to women all of yeah, which yeah, by the way yeah. i still so stand true, by bro. and also there's yeah. a reason why the divorce itself is also amicable and we're not having some massive falling out or going to court or anything of the sort that's what you think. That's what you think. <laughs> That's what you think, bro. Dude, this is They're beating your ass in the quote retweets, Hunter. <laughs> if I ever have to defend my divorce on fucking live stream, I think I'll just, just someone tell me to kill myself because that See, would really suck. You know, earlier in the call, we were talking about it. Why does Flamenco willingly engage with conversations he will always lose? This is another case of that, right? Where it's like Hunter doesn't need to debate his divorce on stream. If somebody, if I get divorced and somebody is questioning me about it, I'm hanging up the call. I'm telling them to fuck off. I'm not answering this for this, right? Why would you subject yourself to this? And even if you look at the comments, people are saying like, Hunter, in all seriousness, for the sake of your well-being, you should restrict discussion about your divorce indefinitely. Your adversaries are going to weaponize it. And the last thing you need is for them to rub salt on the wound or kick you when you're in a difficult position. Have your mods ban people who bring it up and inform us when you're when you feel ready to talk about it. And so people would just if he did that, the thing is, like you can say it's cringe censorship, but that's probably what I would do, because it's like course. it's your own chat, first of all. You have a right. And secondly, it's like you know, you're running a business, right? You're trying to have some sense of professionalism. I know we are like streamers, YouTubers, whatever. So there's only so so far you can really ask in terms of professionalism, right? Because in a way, what makes us appealing is the fact that we're unprofessional, that we're not like TV. But at the same time, you have to have you have to have some semblance of professionalism if you want to maintain your own sanity, if you want to maintain your own happiness. And I think the only way to properly do that is to not talk about your fucking divorce on live stream. 
Uh, if I were, for whatever reason, to break up with my girlfriend, if we were to break up, I would not do a stream about it. I would not talk about my relationship publicly. I would not do anything. That would, it, I, I, would just, I would just not talk about it. And maybe in the future, when the time is right, you make a little statement being like, hey, we broke up. And that's it. There doesn't need to be any detail. There doesn't need to be any explanation. No one needs to know anything. And these memes, which, you know, memes like this persist in almost any relationship when it ends. Like, even if we didn't have this Kensington video, given who Hunter is in the political community he's in, there's bound to be cuck memes about it, right? People are going to joke about that. You just ignore it. You just ignore it. You fuck off. This guy who's claiming this shit, I think his video it has, like, what, a thousand views, maybe? If he is lying, I feel like it's kind of a Streisand effect thing to even meme it. Or talk about it because even if you do talk even if you are going to sue him or whatever for defamation or something uh even if you're going to do that it's going to be a meme forever like no matter what uh maybe he'll get consequences but you can't give consequences to everyone who makes fun of you for the fucking you know kensington video or whatever where he memes you you know what i mean um there's absolutely no reason to to go on and on about this or even talk about it that why, why was it a fucking video clipped on his channel he edited this shit and thought it was a good idea to upload this as like a like like content well, Does that you make know, sense? he's owning like the he's owning like the red pill judge or whatever by confidently speaking about his divorce and reasserting that yes, it's okay to be emotional around your your wife or whatever, even though I've been divorced. You know, it doesn't matter or something. He's gonna own this fucking chud and and destroy him or whatever. I mean, I though. agree, it's okay, but like you don't need to debate this fucking chatter about. Well, it. look, like, here's the thing: people are saying, you know, to address something you said earlier, right? People say it's cringe to not want to engage with a specific topic. Um, no, it's not. Uh, I can decide to talk about whatever the fuck I want. I can decide whoever the fuck I want it's your uh, can stream, engage yeah. in this chat. If I want to get rid of somebody, I can do that, and there's nothing anyone can say or do about that, right? And it's okay every once in a while. It's like people are confused, right, because they'll get into controversies. They'll avoid talk about it, and then other people will make fun of them for that, right? There are some things that happen where it's like if you avoid addressing it, you're a pussy, you know, it's crazy or whatever. But there's other things that happen in your life where it's like, if you avoid talking about it, it's kind of, it's kind of reasonable. You know, even I mean? if you do get called a pussy, is it is that is that really worse than having to talk about this? It in doesn't detail? matter. It literally doesn't matter. So, no, it's absolutely this is a topic where it's like somebody calls in to discuss this. No, but no, Hunter feels the need to address this and debate this. And we're going to listen to it right now. Confusing opinion through two says this man is oozing soy and is cringe. Yeah, I would say so. So regardless of how good you might be with women or how good of your advice might be, sometimes you can't force a relationship to work. Right, but you always say that women should or men should be able to cry in front of women and they should be able to be emotional. Yeah. And like I, I think they should be able to show their emotion. But when you, when you, yeah, I, th I think I heard you say once that you cry more than your wife or cry more than your kids. <laughs> Do you think my I wife is? Think <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, Why? don't. That we are don't. divorcing because I. What the fuck? I cried. Do you really no, think we're divorcing because I cried? Do my I wife is, that, wait, is. Do you think that we do, are divorcing because I cried? No, no I, I don't think that's fully the reason, but I feel like maybe subconsciously that might have been part of the reason why she. May have left you. I'm not going to assume, but no, no, I know, I know. But I'm, I'm asking you. So, like, how? What about um, if it was like more traditional relationship where like the woman was crying a lot, and then they got a divorce? Would you blame the woman for that for crying a lot? I, I think so to an extent because if a woman's crying all the time, she's probably very hard to be around. Okay, I'm just, I'm wondering because usually it's seen as like if a woman's crying, the man is like, I want to be chivalrous and like protect her and be there for her kind of thing. But then if a man's crying, it's like, hold on, wait. And then if a man's crying, it's like, oh, you're just a fucking loser wimp. Why don't you just pull your shit together, bro? But I was just right. thinking it's interesting because when women cry, they actually release pheromones that specifically turn men off. Right. And the I, bullet I don't, I don't is not ever to turn. <laughs> I don't care, bro. I don't care. What <laughs> the fuck is he saying? Dude, women do not want is to that, see you it, cry on average. Okay, obviously there's some situation. Like, if you're crying about your fucking dad dying, sure, if you bust out in tears in front of your fucking wife, she's probably not going to be like, oh, this fucking pussy. Like, I'd rather get fucked by 20 black men instead of this, instead of witness my man cry. But there's other situations, like, if you're fucking crying every day, right? You know, she's obviously, there's going to be some part of her subconscious nature that's going to, you know, make her think, okay, you know, he's crying a lot. 
I don't really like this. You know, women don't want to see you cry all the fucking time. They don't even know how to react to it when you do cry. They're like, what the fuck's going on? I don't understand how to respond to this. Right? That's just natural. You know? I mean, this is... You're going to hear Hunter try to use studies to try to fucking get his way out of this one. But it's like, he's just denying reality. And it's just so pathetic. Someone or like... Or... It's like that doesn't make any sense. The point of it is that you should be able to be emotionally vulnerable and open with a partner. And I'm telling you right now that me being emotionally vulnerable with my partner was not the cause for the divorce whatsoever. If anything, it's the reason oh. why I think, hold on. If anything, it's the reason why our communication remains as solid as it is and oh. we are able to handle this so maturely. Okay, can I talk for just a second now? Yes, people are also saying you're faking your voice. Are you faking your voice? No, I'm not faking my voice. Okay. Oh. It does sound like he has peanut butter in his mouth, to be honest with you. <laughs> What's going guy. on there? <laughs> this fucking dude. Can yes. talk now without being interrupted for a second? Sure. Okay, so I just wanted to say... Um, okay, now I lost my train of thought. Okay, so I was just going to say that I don't think that the you crying all the time, or I don't know how much you're crying, but you probably cry more than the average man. I don't think that was the reason why your wife left you. I like crying more than the average man. Fucking <laughs> 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 okay, no, Tim, dude. He's like, you know, I don't know if you was a lot. Like, you probably was more than the average man, just like, you know, judging more by your sweater the and your, the way man. you look. What the fuck? Just fucking destroy it. If someone said that to me, I'd probably, like, piss myself and, like, start I'd start crying for real. Look at his face. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's just it, the eyes closed, <laughs> just like uh. uh, uh. Why? Why? I think I can literally hear the like. What's that cartoon sound effects? Like wow, 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 wow. Yeah, exactly. You would just you let your guard down too much, and I think that is part of the reason why she may have been. Maybe this man isn't because women want a man that is in control and usually dominant in most situations. So if, uh, if a man is crying all the time, it just shows a lack of dominance and the, the ability to control your emotions. Because, yes, you should be able I, to cry, but you need to know when not to cry as well. I, I know. That's what I talk about. But if you're always suppressing your emotions in front of, an, uh, in front of a partner, it tends to lead to uh, regression in emotional intelligence, not actually a benefit. You, if All you're right, married, right, right. hold on, wait, wait, wait. If you're married to somebody, then you should be able to be emotionally vulnerable with that person. I agree that if every single day you're bawling your eyes out because your McDonald's order was late, then but obviously there's such wife. a thing. No, 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 stop. Then obviously there is such a thing as being like a crybaby or being not emotionally intelligent. Clearly there's an issue there. But on average, if the time and the place is appropriate, you are emotionally vulnerable and you cry and you let your guard down, that's okay. And all you're really doing now is just, you are, you're saying like, I don't want to assume, but I'm assuming this is what happened. You have no, you have no proof of this. Nobody's saying this. And as far as all the evidence available, me being that. more of emotionally available and vulnerable has, if anything, contributed, it, uh, contributed to the, the amicable nature of the divorce ending. <laughs> Him crying more is the reason why they divorced in a friendly fashion. Imagine saying Really, that. uh, you know, it honestly softened the blow. Like, you know, around the time we started the OnlyFans thing, like, we were just crying and, like, fucking a lot. And I just felt like, you know, honestly, they kind of softened the blow. What is it? Okay, what is with the fucking OnlyFans thing? They made an OnlyFans? Yeah, apparently she was doing OnlyFans on the DL privately, and he was fucking her on camera or something, and that's his epic... Uh, cling to masculinity, which is oh, I was even like when I was kid, having though? sex, I had I was making money. That was his response. Do they have a Do they have a kid? I believe two. Here's now. Here's the, here's the you know, okay. There's a lot of arguments against OnlyFans. Like there, like there's a lot you can make that are probably compelling. Here's my one, and it's not like an ideological thing. It's just it's purely. If you do OnlyFans, then your kids will see you naked in each other. And that's something that no child needs to see. No. Okay? If I saw my parents fuck, I would kill myself on this live stream. Right. Like, I would I would do it. I would, I would kill myself in front of the most people possible to let them know exactly why I'm doing it. So no one else has to go through that suffering. Do you need to see your dad's fucking dick? No, you don't. You don't. But Hunter's kids will. Thanks to him now. Yep. And that's, that, I mean, that sucks. That sucks. Like, that's that's really not good. And also, his fucking kids will get bullied at school because their mom's a straight-up hoe, okay? 
Uh, oh, and, and that's what happens to all these kids. And that sucks. That fucking sucks. But that is what happens. So it's like, you really shouldn't be <laughs> shouldn't be doing that for the self-preservation of the child, you know, in my opinion. You can't be doing OnlyFans, period. All right. But you especially, you can't be doing OnlyFans if you got little kids running around the house, right? I like, mean, if you don't plan to have kids, at least you're mostly only hurting, I guess, yourself and like other porn addicts. Soul. But yeah. 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 But if you have kids, like that's just fucking horrible. Just, you know, they're going to grow up demented. I mean, it's child abuse. <laughs> yeah. Okay, anyway. Let's get it's on. mental torch mental hell. Yes. Okay, let me ask you this one question. Who who is the one who initiated the divorce? Like can you just answer that? It might be too personal, but if you can, would you mind? Nobody answering? initiated the divorce. We oh, we both initiated it. conversations about hey, it at Augie? different times. What's up? Can you pause for a second? I need to screen share because somebody just dropped a fucking weird reply video to this and I need to show you it right now. They can't wait. All right, we're running. Uh, we're running late on schedule here, but let's let's take a look at this. All right, okay? all right. I promise. I promise. I promise. We're not gonna be too late. All right. You need to get in here right now. Okay. All right. Let's see. All right. Here, Here's watch this. this. Oh, why isn't it loading? <laughs> Stop. Stop. Why? Let's go. And to date. No. Way. In regards to Hunter Avalone, I actually think his wife is really hot and fuckable. I was talking to my own wife, and she thinks we should bring a bull like Kingston into the house. Realistically, <laughs> we could probably have an orgy. I just wish all of these fucking f from the commentary whoa, community whoa. would stop getting on my case. It's so hard to cheat on her with Connor around. I would push her wheelchair <laughs> off a cliff to be with Kingston one-on-one. -on -one. How's about it, chat? Can we get a one in the chat if Kingston would rearrange my wife and I's organs? Yo, 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 yo. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> So that Bro. was just the tip, Mr. Tipster over there. <laughs> thank you for that tip. Very kind. Very, very good advice. Um, thank you for the update, Tipster. As always, dude, you're always a reliable source of news. So I appreciate you updating <laughs> us on that, man. Thank you. Oh, my God. <laughs> Why? <laughs> All right. Back to Hunter. Let's listen to this. The last time we had a conversation one? about it, Carissa initiated the conversation, and then we agreed that it was the, the best time to end the relationship. Because again, okay, we, so she was the one who initiated. It no, before. she didn't. This is why I'm having a hard time talking to you because you're hearing things only that what you want to hear. Uh, initiating. Well, like hold on, no, initiated. shut the fuck up, dude. Initiating a conversation Whoa. after we've already been having a consistent yes, conversation. But she was the one thinking about, about it. Shut up. Initiating a shut the fuck up or I'm going to mute you or just kick you out of the room. Shut it. Initiating a conversation. In, all right, you're muted. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this guy will not give him a fucking break. He's destroying him. Initiating a conversation to discuss something that we've already been discussing for years during our marriage is not my wife leaving me. That's called initiating one of the many conversations that we have had on this same issue, including <laughs> conversations that I myself initiated many times as well. So simply initiating a conversation and then amicably agreeing is what happened. Just if you initiate the conversation. This is such a cope. We know that Carissa is the one that initiated it, right? He can't just answer that question. He has to try to be like, no, 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 this isn't pathetic. I can argue this, right, guys? Conversation does not mean you initiated the divorce. All right, so you're unmuted now. Okay, so I can kind of tell from the way you're talking that this is a kind of touchy subject for you, and I apologize. I didn't mean to. <laughs> <pick up, so. laughs> he's, he's bullying him in that fucking clip. Oh, my God. See, this is the part where I would go... I mean, I wouldn't have this conversation anyway, but if I was this deep into it, I, this is the part where I would go, all right, this guy is obviously fucking with me. But no, Hunter continues speaking with him for 12 more minutes. Not a touchy subject. It's that you're being well, incredibly well, yeah, bad faith and dishonest. Hold on, no, no, no. It's, it's that you're being very... No, no, I'm not being emotional. I'm getting frustrated and I need to raise my voice because you don't know how to stop being bad faith and weaselly. <laughs> but I'm just wondering, like, why would you marry somebody that you weren't compatible with that's what i'm trying to understand because if you marry somebody you should get be at the point where you know that that's somebody you want to be with for the rest of your life you do you recognize that so somebody. so do you think that okay how do you mind if i ask how old you are i am 19 years old okay so are you 19 <laughs> He sounds 38. He sounds like, like his name is fucking I Boris. I thought he was gonna be like 40 or something. Like, I'm 19 yeah. years old. Are you the same person? Are you the same as you were when you were like 
14 years old? Um, I, I'd say I'm not entirely the same, but I, I am. You're, you're, you're still like key bits right? and pieces. Like you can look back at yourself and see where like, dude, I'm like fucking 10 years old online. Okay. Let me tell you that. Y that was you also, but you can also tell how you have changed and the way you think about things is a lot different now. Right. Right. To an extent, I suppose. Okay, cool. And have you ever maybe like had a crush on somebody when you were really young? Or maybe you look back now, now that you're 19, and you look back at like the girl you had a crush on the first time and you realize like, wow, she was actually like not my type at all. Has um, that ever happened really. to you? Not really, not really, no. <laughs> this guy's like, no. <laughs> really, you don't ever look back at someone you, you had a crush on in your, your younger days and realize how much they really weren't your type compared to now? I don't think so. No, most of the girls that I've liked, I've stayed pretty consistent in that. So okay. I, mean, I don't think that's people, true, but... or you're just too young and you haven't experienced that yet. No. But um, regardless, the point that I'm getting at is <laughs> no. when you're first of all when you're an adult, and second of all, like years and years of being together, people change, dude. Me and Carissa were very compatible at first, and I also think that it was the right decision for us to be married for the the time that we were. I think that that was the right move at the time, but sometimes people change and sometimes people become less compatible. And again, it is a mature thing to do to recognize that so that we can go forward and make the best of this situation we have rather than just sticking with something that might not be the best for anybody just for the sake of looking good or, or I don't know, pleasing you. I don't know. It just seems like from what I'm hearing, and I hear what you're saying, but it just sounds like to me when I got in my first breakup, when my girlfriend broke up with me, I was like, oh, yeah, we aren't compatible. We changed over time. It just it just felt like cope. It was like a mutual decision. It was cope for the fact that you left me. Some people cope, but other people don't. So, okay, wait, well, well, hold on. Keep Some cope. people, of course, are going to cope and be like, Panic no, attack. we agreed on the Panic Attack 5. If you were still changing as a person to get married, then you deserve it. Well, I don't know. I mean, look, divorce obviously happens, right? But again, I just don't know why Hunter's even entertaining this conversation. This guy is like sitting here grilling him about his divorce. He's like, so you're, you're fucked up, dude. You're, you're fucked up. And then Hunter's just sitting there <laughs> <laughs> like, wow, let me explain. Listen, dude, people change and things happen. Like nothing that Hunter's saying is like really profound. It's just him explaining like, I got fucked basically, right? I mean, he's not saying it in those words, but that's basically what is the outcome of his situation. I just don't know why you entertain it to this guy. He's obviously trying to get a rise out of you. Like, what the fuck is the point? What is the point? Even though it was like the girl's decision, I get that. But at the same time, that also is that also is the case sometimes. So you can't just assume it's a cope every time. In my case, but that, that but was, hold like on, stop. In my case, that was the case. And now, That's again, I just, I just don't long. understand, oh, like, why is he doing the destiny debate bro thing, but in regards to, like, defending the existence of his relationship? Yeah. Like, I just, uh, Hunter, you don't need to do this, bro. You're punishing yourself. Like, yeah. You know, I, I understand he's like, oh, well, it's content. I get to, you know, defend myself against this retard. Should I just let people spread this narrative wildly? And it's like, well, to an extent... I don't think it benefits you to really counter this right now. It's kind of a Streisand effect type thing. Like, if you don't want people to talk about this in, in like, this negative way, then you shouldn't, like, try to defend it constantly. Because that, you know, in, in a way, in this case, it is convincing people that you, you know, are, in fact, a cuck or whatever, right? Right, because it's just to let people walk all over him or whatever on this stream. And it's like, yeah, he's defending himself, but, like, his defenses are just, like, the average. Like, what he his responses to this guy is what anybody would say in this situation. Again, he's not saying anything, like, profound or, like, dry dropping some huge fucking information bombs about how divorce works, anything like that. He's literally just saying, like, the guy's like, wow, you got, you got divorced. And Hunter's just like, I mean, don't you think people change? It's like, well, yeah, that's what anybody would say. This conversation doesn't yeah. need to take place on his fucking channel. You know, right. like, that's the whole entire point. And it leads me to think, it's like, well, would Hunter debate, like, the black guy that wanted to fuck his wife? Would he debate the black guy and why wanting to fuck his wife is, like, immorally wrong or something like that? It's like, that's not a debate! That's not good content! It's good content for us to watch, to laugh at, but it's not good content for you to represent yourself with and point to, like, yeah. so when you're pointing to your channel, it's like, oh, I'm an open book, I debate everybody. Well, you know, maybe that's not a good idea, you know? Maybe that's, maybe this, this one's gonna age like you. milk. Yeah. My ex-wife was on stream earlier, my friend, saying the same thing I'm saying. 
right. I understand that to an extent. It just seems like you're saying like all these things to try to deal with the fact that you left you and it's it's fine mm -hmm. but it just do you feel like maybe you <laughs> kind of have this belief or this feeling in your stomach that she left me and maybe you for whatever reason don't like me or don't agree with some of the things i've said and you kind of feel like that would be more compatible for your sort of view of me do you feel I like maybe know. you're just sort of clinging to that because i'm telling you every single thing that contradicts the dumb shit you're saying and also my ex-wife has said it too and you're still saying like well i just feel like you're coping do you think maybe this is a problem for you Wait, what did you say? I'm saying regardless of all the evidence, <laughs> which is very clear that this was a Stop listening. decision and an amicable divorce, <laughs> you're still clinging to this dumb fuck idea that somehow actually she left me and I'm coping, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I'm wondering if maybe is this a problem with you rather than with me? Maybe this is your issue with not being able to actually take into account factual information. Okay, I, I don't necessarily have a problem with you as a person. I disagree with some of your takes. I just hear from Lanko. Men shouldn't <laughs> be crying all the time. I feel like that's all right, buddy. not a very healthy thing okay. to do. And I feel like your situ mm -hmm. situation was a prime example of why crying all the time isn't healthy. Because it may work so for a while. But my point. You actually just proved my mm -hmm. point. You said you don't agree with my advice that men should be but able to cry. But it's not because I don't oh, no, like no, no, you. It's no, 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 no. I know it's not. It's not. You don't even realize it, though. That's what's funny is you already disagree with my take that men should be able to, be, to to cry. First of all, I never said men should be crying all the time, never, but I'm not gonna get on to You cry your wife. But just generally just- <laughs> You cry more than your wife! What the fuck? Holy shit. Dude, Holy shut shit. down the Wi-Fi router. This is when Sky Williams' roommate should walk into Hunter's house and turn off the Wi-Fi router, right? Yes, yes. Oh. Crying if you wanna cry. So like, you don't agree with that. Now my I, marriage, hold on, stop. Now my marriage is ending and it's compatible for you and your world view and your sort of picture ending. of me in your head that, well, Hunter said you should always cry and he cried and now he's getting a divorce. So I bet it's because he cried that he's getting the divorce. So for you, you're clinging to this because it's the most compatible. These are words that should never enter a man's mouth. Now that my marriage is ending, now you want to use my take on when men crying and try to use it against me. Do you understand how your preconceived notion to me makes it and form makes your decision against me like predestined? Why are you arguing this? Compatible for your strong bias you against me. I'm not. Oh, this is not a straw man, my friend. This is me articulating what you just demonstrated and did. No, no, I was trying to say that men that cry all the time in front of their girlfriends, it oftentimes results in them breaking up. That's a lot. And I've never seen Says a situation who. where it where it actually lasts. Says who? Overly emotional men, they never are able to Overly emotional is bad overly emotional is a bad thing. And men are overly emotional all the time in regards to anger and aggression too. So being overly is emotional why... is a bad thing. But being emotional and being willing to be vulnerable, emotionally vulnerable so long as the time and the place is appropriate, that takes strength. And that is what I say it's okay for men to do. Right, but I feel like even, even, if, even if that is true, and I do believe that it's true, that you should be emotionally intelligent and all of that. I, I don't think I that men should be crying like every single day because it gets right. to the point where the women were definitely- It's more about just like, if that is a way that you no, kind you of don't have to express cry. your emotions and the time and the place appropriate, then like, it should be okay for that. For you, for you to do that. No one's saying that like you as a man must now cry three times a day. Here's your checklist. No, nobody's saying this. Nobody's saying you should be crying all the time. Nobody's saying also that if you are not personally like someone that kind of cries, that you should just force yourself to cry. These no, not the arguments he's responding bullshit. to. Hunter. Jordan Peterson cries on stage all the fucking time. Okay, crying in and of itself is <laughs> not necessarily true. a bad. Everyone movie. makes fun of him for it. They that bully is all him. that I've argued. <laughs> they think I've... Jordan's like retarded now because he's like a he's like a pill addict or whatever. Oh, like, well, yeah, good example. I love the shot of Jordan Peterson there, as if this guy is like a big Jordan Peterson fan and he's gonna get devastated by that. Like, fucking Rajid in the call is just gonna be like, that's the definitely fuck? the like, that's definitely the fucking angle he was going for too. <laughs> Like, you can and already you see the cogs turning in his head. Right, he's like, oh, let me take a shot at Jordan Peterson. That will really own the collar. I don't think so. Yeah. Clinging to this idea that because I cried in front of my wife, that's why she's leaving me. So you have a preconceived bias against me, and now you hear this information, you ignore all the facts that I'm giving you so that you can keep on clinging to the one biased view you have of me.
You're like everything I mean, from, wrong with I've all of these you, dumb fucks online. Whoa. Okay, okay, from what I've heard from you, she was the one who initiated it. You cry in front of her she all the time. She didn't initiate it. This is- <laughs> Yeah, she did, you said she was the one who- Why is this so long? <laughs> she was it's the first been like 15 one minutes he's been up. talking to this fucking dude. Alright, it ends in six minutes, chat. One, if we keep listening, two, if we skip to the end. All right, I want to no, keep we, listening. We, we're already this far. We need to keep going. Personally, yeah, 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 yeah. We need we to keep going. Yeah, I did it. Solidarity with Keffles. Pride Month is a difficult time for us all, and I think taking steps to understand her struggle will strengthen our relationship. Shout out to Keffles. <laughs> Thank you, Tipster. Appreciate that. I didn't say this. This is why I know you're not listening, my friend. You are so I bad. Heard you faith. Say that. You're either bad faith or you're just really fucking stupid. Maybe both. Whoa. Do you okay, think that maybe well. since you're only 19 and you've clearly only had like one or two relationships that lasted more than like three hours, that you, you feel that, that maybe you're projecting a little bit on me? Do you feel like maybe you're just projecting year. a little bit? I got married last year and I'm in a very happy relationship right now. <laughs> so I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, I, I'm cool. very happy with my wife okay. right now and I don't. That's great. I would. I hope that that, uh, that it remains so, you know? But again, keep in mind that you're the one repeatedly telling me that it's men crying leading to divorce, which is just bullshit. In reality, a big it's reason that, No, 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 no. In reality, a big reason that uh, divorce even happens or women will initiate divorce is because they are not getting the emotional intimacy they need out of a partner, which is because men are socialized to suppress emotions, which leads to a lack of emotional intelligence. So it's actually okay. your mindset that leads to marriages falling apart far more than mine. I don't women think that's true. Women that want a man to cry in front of them all yeah, the time. But you can't trust women, right? Politically... Right. Yeah, women, right. Women only say what's politically correct. So yes. we can't trust women. Uh, or even if women say this, no, now we can just... Didn't, we, no, 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 now we can just doubt always... it because all women are just lying, you know? Yes. No, because yeah, I mean that's what your wife. That's what your wife is doing. She was lying when she said she wasn't cheating on you, or she, she wasn't interested in okay. <laughs> sucking off uh, Kingston over there. You know, even though we have the DMs of her saying that, right? You know, again, I don't want to bully Hunter because he's obviously the person getting fucked over by Kingston and by you know all these other people, right? But it's his worldview that has him so mentally constrained and cucked and shackled. Where he can't just see reality for what it is. So it's like, I have to point this out. I don't take pleasure in shitting on Hunter here, other than the fact that it's kind of funny. But it's like, this is a fate that no man deserves. No man deserves to get cheated on, especially in the way that Hunter got it from. You know what I mean? Wait, wait. Who was the one who, che who, who fucked fucking Hunter's wife? Well, Kingston. Well, she was salivating over fucking Kingston's BBC. Okay, Kim Yo! Star. Kim Star, you don't have to get racial up in here. What the fuck? Tipster did it. Results in what you. Tipster did it. Is that what he just said? We see with you. So obviously, <laughs> men being overly emotional doesn't result in a long-term relationship. No, it you never are does. so wrong and fallacious, and this is why I don't think you're bad faith. I think you're just fucking dumb. So do you realize no, that, hold on, wait, wait, wait. You realize that the exact same argument could be made right now that, hey, you know what, dude? I think it's bad when men eat bread. And guess what? I ate bread. I ate bread a lot no. in front of my wife, and now I'm getting divorced. <gasps> right now. Clearly it's because I ate bread. Unless you're what able to prove the even causal saying link right now? between crying and then leading to the divorce. You can't just say, cause you it. cried, and now it. cause divorce ends, therefore it's because you cried that the divorce ends. What do you, you mean? Don't this get is to just natural. Is Women want to protect or whatever. Crying has always been seen historically as a sign of weakness. What? Not always, right? If you're crying about your fucking parent dying or something, then you know, there's situations where it's like warranted to cry, but women want a protector. And if they see you fucking crying all the time like a bitch, they will think about that. That will register in their psychology. Like, this is like, you can't just sit there and say, wow, well, what about, you can't just make an argument that me crying leads to divorce. What if I just eat bread? You can't make an argument that me eating. That doesn't make any sense. This is why you're stupid. Hunter, you need to really chill. I can tell this is, you're probably on your period or something, but. <laughs> Let me yeah. let me get a word in, okay? Um, that's so, not very politically correct of you, but okay. Uh, what so do you mean? Miss. Go ahead. Okay. So um, <laughs> I don't remember exactly everything you said, but okay. Um, can you show what I just said in the chat? So screen? pretty much, can we show that on YouTube. <laughs> no, we cannot. <laughs> you should show it. It's great. <laughs> Can we just show it? Because I right. really like it. <laughs> well, you know, 
<laughs> it's artistic. It's, it's anime. Art he's showing an interesting expression. It's Nick, anime, dude. Do you like it? <laughs> now, Nick, what are your thoughts on this piece of art? <laughs> <laughs> my thoughts are... I do not have that much hair on my arms. <laughs> what about on your chest? <laughs> Let's get back into it, you piece of shit. <laughs> I like the V-neck they you gave you. Of, <laughs> you and the purple tongue. <laughs> what is that? All right, that is, uh, yeah, I can't even I say think it. that's like asphyxiation. <laughs> Everyone say Alec in chat, please. Can we get some axe for Nicholas? <laughs> say they want a man to cry in front of them to, because they think it's what men want to hear. So, and they may genuinely believe that they want a man to cry in front of them. But once they genuinely experience it and realize that it's not very, um, it, it's kind of disgusting and very, very weak of them, it oftentimes results in them leaving and mm -hmm. we see what happens with you and your wife. Okay, oh, so let me go ahead okay. and translate. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Every, every <laughs> single, <laughs> every single line, this guy's like, and as a result, we see your divorce. And yeah. as a result, we see your wife leave you. He's then, just, every then, moment, he's owning him. And then Hunter has to respond and be like, okay, well, let me break I mean, this Well, down. actually, okay, she did not leave me. Once again, we had an amicable, we had an amicable <laughs> split in which, in which she left me, and I was okay with it and did not argue. Oh, why? <laughs> your dad loves you. To just try to convince yourself that it's true. But again, shut the fuck up. You don't get to Dang. say just because this thing happened in the relationship and then the relationship ended, it's the fault of that thing. Unless there is a causal link, unless Carissa came out and said, hey, you know what? Let me be honest. Hunter was always emotional and bawling his eyes out, and it was just a major turnoff, and it led to our relationship crumbling. Unless something like that comes out, you don't get to just make up the reason why the marriage ended, and especially you don't get to just pull the idea or the reason that suits your bias against me even more. Well, I, I guess I don't know what else to say. If you genuinely believe that the, you guys mutually uh, mutually decided to break up with each other, and it was nobody's fault but you guys growing distant. Like yeah, I, I genuinely think that I know it's a very very shocking thing, but I genuinely do think that I have a better understanding of why my marriage ended than you, random uh, caller one two three, who clearly doesn't even have a fully developed brain yet. Oh. I, I can tell you this is very emotional for you, and I love. It's not emotional at all. I, I know that you keep. The thing is, is you keep falling back to like, oh, you're being emotional because I'm what insulting you, you and I'm roasting you and I'm making fun of you because you came on here and embarrassed yourself. You saw like what the hell? This girl just kicked me out of the car. They silenced you. All right, get back in here. We're almost done with this debate. One and a half minutes. Front of five hundred plus people live made a massive fool of yourself, and we just ended while you basically said, well, women might say that they want a man who's emotional, but women don't even know what's really good for them anyway. You have a very dumb fuck, low view of women. You have a very bad view of men. Your mindset contributes to male suicidality, and now you're clinging to your bias because you dislike me or you disagree with my one take about men crying. Well, who's the married one in this situation? Tell me that. Um, thankfully, being mad doesn't actually have anything to do with whether or not you lost the debate. I'm okay being mad when you've been bad well, I said who's the married one. the entire no, time. No, I said who's the married one. Who's the married oh, one right now? Um, well, why? on paper, I'm still married. On paper, I'm, I'm still married? Why would you say that? Who's the married one right now? Um, well, on paper, I'm still married. This is so- And my marriage last ah, year. Ah, this is Bunty King shit, man. The one that's still together with how many, how many who, of, of both of us here whose marriage lasted longer? Oh, I've been married. Bye bye. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is wah, so wah, bad. Wah, 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 wah. How did he misunderstand what I was saying? <laughs> you could have made the same argument that my wife left me because I ate bread. No, that doesn't make any sense, Hunter. I'm sorry, but that example. Does not work. I'm sorry, buddy. But um, good debate there. I like the music, though. I imagine Andrew Tate talking over this. This is why yeah, your wife girl fucking left you. Because you ain't got no wife. fucking Bugatti, Hunter. <laughs> Get your fucking Bugatti, you fucking pussy. And your wife won't leave you for fucking Kensington. Well, gentlemen, that does conclude the Hunter Avalon story. And, uh, yeah, well, I will conclude by saying Hunter is the victim here. Kingston and Carissa are evil. They completely fucked my man over. And, again, no man deserves what he went through. But I will say this. Hunter's mindset is uh, 
something I don't agree with, and I think it's clouding his judgment from what's going on here, but then again, who am I to say this? I'm just an incel on the internet commenting about things I know nothing about. Gentlemen, I'm gonna exit from the call. I gotta get out of here. I've got some stuff Dude, look at that thumbnail. High-valued man can cheat. Insane red pill debate. Uh, I can cheat. I like the Wojak. <laughs> He's Wojak filled on the thumbnails. <laughs> <laughs>